Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. Leonardo AI launched the latest elements feature at the end of September this year. This is Leonardo AI's exclusive LoRa model. LoRa is an important fine-tuning model for stable diffusion players. Today, let me quickly unbox this new feature for you. If you enjoy today's video, feel free to subscribe and share my channel as it's one of the best ways to support me. First, let's click into the AI image generation page within Leonardo AI. Here, I have generated two images, currently not using the new elements feature. Next, we click on the add elements button at the top. This page will list the elements that can match the current generation model. I am currently using the Dream Shape V7 generation model, and there are a total of 13 elements listed here that can be chosen. Here, you can choose multiple elements at once, but you can only select up to four at a time. According to Leonardo AI's recommendation, selecting one to two elements at a time can achieve better results. I will choose the elements Celtic Punk and Glass and Steel and combine them with different weights to see the resulting image effects. Next, we can set different weight values for different elements. The recommended weight values are generally between 0.2 to 1. I have set the weight of Celtic Punk to 0.3 and the weight of Glass and Steel to 0.8. Let's see the results after applying these settings. The two photos generated afterwards both look quite good. Next, I tried increasing the weight of Celtic Punk to 0.8 and decreasing the weight of Glass and Steel to 0.3, then generated it again to see what differences there are in the results. The two photos generated after adjusting the weights also look good. From this result, it can be concluded that if multiple elements are selected, and the weight for each element is set between 0.2 and 1, the generated images are not likely to be distorted or look too strange. We can also try generating images using only one specific element. Here, I'm trying to use only the Celtic Punk element and setting its weight to 0.9. The results generated using only one element look decent as well. Next, I will use a chart to select only one type of element and combine it with different weights to see what different effects it has. The element I'm using here is Celtic Punk. It's easy to see from this list that choosing a single element with weights ranging from 0.2 to 1.6 can still yield good results. Adjusting the weight to above 1.6, it's evident that the results are not very good. In my personal recommendation, if using only one element, adjusting the weight between 0.2 and 1.2 is more likely to achieve stable results. If you choose elements that include two or more at the same time, I recommend setting their respective weights between 0.2 and 1 for more stable results. Thank you for watching until the end of the video. If you enjoyed the content I shared today, please consider subscribing and sharing my channel. See you in the next video. Bye bye.